Hey, good Sam. This is Pastor Jed. On Sunday, we began the season of Advent. Advent is a season where we are going back in time and we are remembering what it was like to be God's people. God's people who were waiting in the darkness. God's people that were wrestling with despair. God's people that were waiting for God to deliver on his promise. In a lot of ways, I think we're there. I think we're looking at our world and we're recognizing that this place is a mess, that there's a lot of hurt, that there's a lot of pain, that there are so many things that are breaking God's heart, that we're looking for an answer. The good news is that answer is Jesus. On Sunday, we looked at Isaiah chapter 40, verses 1 through 5. We were reminded what it must have been like to be God's people, to be in exile, to be in a foreign land, to be surrounded by a foreign culture, and to wonder if God had given up on you. We were reminded that God speaks to his people. He says, comfort, comfort my people. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem. I love this idea of God leaning in, of God comforting his people, of God inviting them back into relationship. God reminds his people that they have sinned, but their sin isn't so great that the separation will last forever. He reminds his people that he is calling them forward. He's calling to renew their relationship. He's calling them to pick up the commitments that they have left behind. He reminds them that he's going to take responsibility, that every challenge, every barrier, every mountain, every valley, he's going to deal with so that he can have the relationship that he desires to have with his people. I don't know about you, but maybe you feel like there's a mountain standing in between you and God. Or maybe there's a valley that's just too deep, or there's a barrier that you just can't get over. God wants to speak to you. God wants to encourage you. God wants you to know that he has not forgotten about you. On Sunday, I asked the question, can you use some support, some encouragement? Can you use God's comfort? So many hands went up, and I want you to know that as a pastor, I've been praying every day that God would continue to do his good work in you as you navigate your mountains, as you navigate your valleys. Isaiah ends by talking about God's purposes. God's going to accomplish his good work so that his glory, so that his reputation would be made known. The hard thing about pain, the hard thing about grief, the hard thing about suffering is it stops us in its, our tracks. But it also recognizes us that we can't do for ourselves what needs to be done. That we need to turn our lives over to God. We need to trust in God. We need to pray to God. We need to depend on God. And so I just want you to know that if you feel a little bit beat up, battered, if you're carrying grief, if you're wrestling with some situations that aren't resolving themselves, that God sees you that God knows you, that God loves you. We're going to be gathering again on Sunday, and we're going to be reminded of what it must have been like to be Joseph. Joseph, who had a dream, who had a vision for his life, who had everything mapped out. And when God steps in, everything fell apart. And so God needs to come alongside Joseph and remind him that God is in control. If you need to be reminded that God is in control, then I'll see you on Sunday. Blessings.